Firstly, Jesse, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing well, man. Happy to be here. Uh, you know, happy to uh, be back, be present in an event in Las Vegas, a boxing event at that. And, uh, you know, with the pandemic, you know, uh, in the middle, well, with us being in the middle of a pandemic, it has been difficult for us to go out. But thankfully, you know, we have this Manny Pacquiao against our gospel fight. Of course, a lot of us wished it was Errol Spence against Manny Pacquiao, you know, it's a fight to see. Uh, unfortunately, um, you know, uh, Errol Spence, you know, has an issue during training camp. But we got our gospel, and our gospel is a competitive fighter. He's very hungry. He doesn't come in to give up. You know, he's going to give a fight. We just don't know how long it's going to last, but it's going to be a good one. How do you expect it to play out, Jesse, when my arm are in? Uh, when it comes to the fight? Yeah. Um, I think that Manny will take most of the control early on. And if Augas can't change the momentum of the fight and can't tie Manny Pacquiao, then it can be in, you know, it could be a devastating fight for him uh, in the later rounds. How hard is it to tie Manny? Oh, it's not easy. It's not <laughs> easy. I mean, just, just to get a fighter to simulate his style is very difficult. Um, so it's, it's not going to be easy at all. But um, I mean, anything can happen in boxing. All you need is one punch. We've seen it numerous times in the past. So I mean, maybe this is one of those nights. Maybe this might be Augusta's night. We'll just wait and find out. You know, uh, tomorrow night's going to be big. It's going to be entertaining. It's going to be good. You know, good fights. What do you remember the most about fighting Pacquiao? What always sticks out um, when you go back to that his fight? His speed, right? He's very agile. Um, he was very easy for him to uh, move left and right. Uh, you know, up and down and. Uh, which meaning um, that his foot, feet work was just uh, very surprising, you know, and it was difficult to catch him because the minute you let a punch go, it kind of jumps out of out of range already. Mm -hmm. So you just got to time him down perfectly. Well, Thurman, uh, Keith Thurman was saying that he actually thinks the length of Ugas will help him a lot, you know, help him in timing Manny. Do you do you see that as well? Do you think Ugas will be able to time I think, Manny? I think, honestly, man, I think uh, Ugas is going to have to take four punches to land one. You know, that's just the way it works. Uh, yeah, um, just looking at the two styles, you know. Uh, yeah, Ogas has that longer reach uh, by a little, but keep in mind, Manny's already used to that. I mean, a Margarita had longer reach, I had longer reach, Oscar De La Hoya had longer reach, you know, and he was he was able to use his lateral movements to his benefits to get in and out of the way and left and right to where you had to like really, you know, uh, position yourself quickly in order to land a, a big punch on him which ultimately that was the thing to do. I mean, Augusto does have great body shots. He can work inside really well. Manny Pacquiao doesn't work inside very well, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, maybe Augusto does that, and if he does it, he might have to sacrifice uh, a little uh, a little bit of defense for that, uh, and eventually, hopefully, for his sake, he's able to land a punch. Did you ever uh, spar with Augusto out here in Vegas? Nah, no, we did it. We were gonna oh, wow. set up some sparrings, but he was out of camp when I was getting into camp, and then, um, yeah, so fortunately, uh, we weren't able to. It would've been nice. I'm sure it would've been entertaining. You know, but uh, you know, that's I haven't done it yet. Jesse, Jesse but you said that that was the hardest thing to get used to fighting Manny Pacquiao was the angles. That, that the angles and the speed and the experience. I mean, it's numerous things. I mean, Manny is special. He's a unique fighter. He's a phenom. So it's, it wasn't easy. Uh, I mean, still at 42, you see him. He's he's killing. It. He's doing very well. Uh, he's showing that he has. He still has the explosive power, the speed, the agility. It surprises me because he's still fighting as a young man. He looks like he's 26 when you see him inside the ring, but he's actually 42. Whatever he's doing, we're gonna find out what that magic it is. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying anything negative, or I'm just saying like, as in like, I mean, he has father youth on his side. That's what he has. You know, him at 42 years old uh, and able to perform the way he has been doing. I mean, Thurman was one of the top guys in the division, as you all know, and you all thought he was pound for pound. You know, uh, top on top of Errol Spence actually. You know, and he lost that fight. Errol Spence jumped up top and um, you know so Manny's been taking off to challenges I give him uh, my respect for it you know he's just continuing to look for uh, more difficult uh, tasks